Should members of the public just physically remove these just stop oil maniacs from the road? Well, you know, you don't want to go assaulting people. Everyone's got the right to protest. But you've got to look at these people. They're stopping working men from going to work, Dan. And these people don't look as if they've ever worked a day in their life. They're all silly little kids, aren't they? And really old, withered white people with nothing better to do because the bingo halls have all shut. You can't blame people from getting out the van and pulling these old crusties off the road and throwing them to one side. I think that we should get free tax and free insurance if we all drove steamrollers. That sort them out. Don't you worry about that. Yes. I mean, Jim, yeah, I have to say, if you're lying in the middle of a road, you're blocking people getting to work, you've got to yeah. be expected to be dragged off that road. And I don't believe that's assault, Jim. Well, I, I, I hope it doesn't get any worse because a lot of the people who drive in vans and lorries going about their business, they realise that these people are need medical help. A lot of them are suffering from NBPE, which, as you know, means not been punched enough. And God forbid that that is going to happen. Let's have peaceful, peaceful protests and go and glue yourself somewhere else. Don't, don't block the streets. Stop, stop the working man going to work. Crazy. Now, Jim, we spoke recently about David Beckham, right, who's been outed for his Qatar hypocrisy. Uh, but this was crazy. His Man United mate, Gary Neville, also getting in on the act. The former England defender will be working at Qatar's state broadcaster during the World Cup. And this was just weeks after he filmed a documentary highlighting the country's dire human rights record. So I wanted to play you, Jim, what the former Crystal Palace chairman, Simon Jordan, had to say about Neville. We can land him with the prize tag of the biggest hypocrite that we have recently seen. And that's a long list of people that would fit that particular bill. Gary talks a lot of sense about a lot of things and a lot of nonsense about some other things. And in this instance, of course, he's going to be called a hypocrite. I have to say, Jim, I, I'm with Simon Jordan on this. Well, so am I. And being a Charlton fan, dare I ever uh, agree with a former Crystal Palace owner. But he yeah. does have a point. That Gary Neville, I can't see the point of him at all. He, is a, he should glue himself to a road and just stay there. Uh, and stop waving his flag about all oh, what's wrong with things and what's wrong with it. And much as I said to you the other week, uh, us as a Western world should, you know, force our will and, and our way of life on another country. But what what's going on out there uh, is wrong when it comes to same-sex partnerships. And Gary Neville's been waving his flag and saying it's all wrong and all this, and now he's taken the Queen's shilling or the dinar or whatever it is over there and he's made himself look a fool. I always thought he was a fool, actually, and now he's just proved it. It, it is crazy. Yeah. I know. That, I, I, I mean, Jim, you, you could not get a bigger trio of virtue singlers these days. I feel like you can't switch on the television or watch social media without seeing either Gary Lineker, uh, Gary Neville or David Beckham telling us that we should be supporting some sort of cause, unless, unless it's from a dodgy regime that they want to take millions of pounds from. Yeah, I know. Well, they didn't start out as being the sharpest knives in the drawers. These people That's... are brilliant footballers. They can bend the ball round round the wall. Now they can bend their moral compass as well. <laughs> well, I hope they enjoy <laughs> the Queen's shilling, or in this case, yeah. the Sheikh's shilling. Well, yeah, but just stay out of politics, right? That's the point. Stay out of politics. Because, by the way, I wouldn't be criticising Gary Neville and David Beckham at all if they weren't preaching to us all the time. I don't care. Take the money if that's what you want to do. I understand this was a FIFA decision, but it's the fact that they are constantly trying to put themselves on some sort of moral pedestal and think that they're better than the likes of you or me, Jim. That's it. Let's pour some, let's pour some milk on them. That'll sort it out. Let's send the protesters round and say, look, you can't go to Cat or we're going to glue you to the road and, and pour milk on you. Don't you worry about that. Now, Jim, Jim, you know I am a big fan of Madonna, Jim, and she has been snogging women for years, including, by the way, Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera, famously. But 64-year-old Madonna, the queen of pop, has she just come out... As gay? So, Jim, apparently this is some sort of trend. Have you heard of this thing, Jim, TikTok? TikTok, it's some sort of Chinese social media uh, site. So some people are saying we should take her coming out with a pinch of salt. 
Jim, you know I'm a big Madonna fan, so I'm a bit scared about what you're going to say, but is she actually just becoming a bit of an attention seeker here, Jim? I think she is, and she's not going to get very far in the gay world with a pair of old pink drawers like that. I tell you, they look like apple catchers, don't they? And I think the thing is with Madonna, you can tell. I mean, she, she acts young, but she close up, she needs ironing, Dan. I'm sorry to say it, and I know she's a sort of a Dan icon, but she's probably oh, yeah. run out of blokes now. She's run out of blokes to play with, so she thinks, I'll have a couple of birds, that'll do me. Apparently, she's her boyfriend is 23 years of age. Oh, yeah. I wonder she what it feels like up. to him to have old age creeping up on him. <laughs> oh, Jim. And look, I had I've to ask you about... you now, and I... It, well, look, I, I just... I struggle a little bit with sometimes Madonna being a little bit attention-seeking online, but I refuse to criticise the woman, Jim. I refuse to criticise it because, to me, she is an all-time icon. You know, we don't have many of them left, do we? You know, you look at all of the, the greats that have gone or had their dodgy personal lives ruin their reputations, you know, be it Michael yeah. Jackson or whoever. Mm. So, so it's nice, I think, that we still have someone who we all know around the world, but maybe she should... We've still, we've still got icons. Them. We've still got icons. There's Christopher Biggins. You know, I bet true. he's got the same pink drawers as Madonna as well. <laughs> it's very true. And here's an icon. Here's an icon. I love now, him. Now, now, Jim, I hadn't spoken to you about this earlier, but Nigel Farage wanted to get your take. Did, did you hear him talking about the fact that Black History Month events at uh, mm -hmm. Westminster University have now banned white people from attending at all. And Nigel seems to think that you're going to be on the same page as him about this one, thinking that this is very divisive. Is, is that where you're at, Jim? Well, I, I tend to have my own page, and I think not just divisive, but it gets to fuel the bigots. You know, mm. I see it in, 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 in my audiences, and I see it in other people's audiences. I see it when I, when I mingle with people. All this stuff does, it draws people apart. It doesn't bring people together. And that's the whole idea. The, you know, the guy was wearing the White Lives Matter uh, shirt, and that caused outrage. All lives matter. We're all the same. We have, Listen, our country, I look at it as a great cake, and a great cake has great ingredients that mix together. Let's start doing that. Let's stop these silly students. Just go and glue yourself to the road and, and let racial tension work its way out. We'll all get by. Yeah, Crazy. It's all young banning. students and mad yeah. people. It's gone mental. The world's gone mental. Yeah, and a lot of them, sadly, Jim, seem to work at the BBC these days as well. But there you go. They certainly uh, do. Thank God I got the sack 